uh, let us uh, now see how to calculate the spray water quantity for a desuperator uh, system or a desuperator spray nozzle yes the parameters which you need is mainly the steam side parameters as below and the spray water temperature now the steam flow rate is the superated steam flow rate is 6 tons this is uh, the steam which is already in superated condition and uh, let us uh, assume a temperature of 3 kg per cm squared at a superated temperature 225 degree now for a 3 kg pressure and 225 degree the enthalpy of this operated steam is 695 degree sorry 695 kcal per kg and the enthalpy of uh, saturated steam is 653 kilocalorie per kg now our uh, our purpose is to calculate uh, how much water has to be sprayed into this uh, superheated steam uh, pipeline uh, so as to reduce the enthalpy from 690 to 653 when you reduce the enthalpy from 692 to 653 the saturated steam uh, becomes a sorry the superheated steam becomes the saturated steam so it is 42 kcal per kg or the total heat that has to be removed from the superheated steam is 2,52,000 uh, kcal per hour. This is added by multiplying the flow rate with the difference of superheated enthalpy to saturated enthalpy. The difference of superheated enthalpy to saturated enthalpy is 42. And then this 42 is multiplied with the flow rate. You get the heat that has to be removed from the superheated steam so this 2,52,000 kilocalorie has to be removed from the superheated steam to totally desuperate it and bring it to saturated condition now this is the this has to be considered as the heat duty for the spray water system now let us consider that the spray water is at 100 degrees centigrade and the water flow rate now 600 is only this is as in the flow we have to iterate this uh, value so as to exactly calculate the amount of water flow water spray required now at 100 degree the enthalpy of spray water is 100 and enthalpy of this saturated steam is 653 and the difference between enthalpy of saturated steam and the spray water is 553 so for every one kg of spray water that we mix into the system we have only 553 kilocalorie that can be transferred from superheated to superheated steam to the water because this water cannot cross the saturated steam level or the saturated steam enthalpy because we don't want superheated steam we want to desuperheat and our requirement is saturated steam now since we cannot cross 653 kcal per kg the amount of heat that can be absorbed per every 1 kg of water that is sprayed into the system is 553 now as per heat balance this water flow rate that we assume can absorb up to 3,31,800 kilocalorie per hour we have assumed a flow rate of 600 kg per hour and every kg can absorb 553 kcal uh, 553 per kg and convert to saturated steam now since the heat heat given by superheated steam should be equal to the heat absorbed by the sprayed water now we need a heat balance the convergence of the heat balance may be done using manual iteration or we may also do the oh, use the what if analysis and target it to zero 
and calculate this now 455.16 this is the spray water required to remove 2,52,000 kilocalorie from the superheated steam this 2,53,000 gets added to 455 kg per hour of water and that water also gets converted to saturated steam so, so the final outlet steam after the desuperation uh, is 455.696 plus 6 so this is the outlet in saturated condition yeah thank you very much i request you to subscribe to this uh, channel for more useful videos thank you very much